You said that the nuke Skullface was trying to spread around the world were equipped with a failsafe. Something that could shut them down at will. His will. Quite so. After all, he needed a guarantee that a buyer wouldn't simply turn the weapons back on him. So how can they be stopped? The criticality trigger, that is, the detonator, is a complete black box design. Any attempt to dismantle it causes it to melt in seconds, using the corroding archaea. The design ensures that no detonation is possible unless he disengages the lock. So he had a way to disengage it remotely? Precisely. The client simply presses a button. At that moment, the detonator begins transmission with a surveillance satellite. The satellite reports to him how the client is trying to use the nuke. If he does not object, the lock is disengaged. But if it's a risk to him in any way... The detonator melts down. The same is true if detonation does not occur within a preset time after the lock is disengaged. The nuke is rendered useless. Who the hell would buy something with strings attached like that? The client would never know until the moment they actually try to use it. Most likely, he would have explained the time delay as the detonators needing time to activate. And he only intended to sell to technologically primitive groups in the first place. Let me guess. He claimed it was defective and offer a replacement. Shadier than a used car salesman. Skullface shakes your hand like a friend, using the other to control you like a puppet. This is how he works.